All right, now that we've got the windows drawn, it's time to put the doors into our guest cottage. Now, the first step that I need to do is set my doors layer current. So I'm on the home ribbon under the layers panel and I'll pull down right where it says windows. That's the last one I used. I'll pull that down and select the word doors. That sets my doors layer current. And we are going to just individually draw the doors that we need. So I'm going to zoom in over here to my front door. And remember that's a three foot door. So I'm gonna draw a rectangle starting at this corner right here, that, that interior corner. And on the X, I'm gonna make that door one inch thick. So the first dimension I'm gonna give it is a one. And then I can press comma or tab. I'm gonna do comma. And then we're gonna type in how wide that door is. So that's a 36 inch door or a three foot door. So I can type in 36. I don't have to put the inch symbol if I don't want, or I could type three and then the foot symbol. Remember AutoCAD assumes inches. So 36, enter. So I've drawn a rectangle. Now I need to draw an arc for that door. So I'm gonna go up here to the draw panel I'm gonna click on the arc and pull it down. And I have, as you can see, there's lots of different ways that we can start the arc command. We know the start point, we know the center, and we know the end. So I'm gonna go with this one. So start, center, end is what it's gonna prompt me for. So we're gonna start the, the arc over here on the um, right-hand corner of the door. The center is, if I zoom in, the center is where that rectangle and that edge of that wall is. And then I will come up here and the end is this corner of the door, the top right corner. And that's perfect. I just drew a door. That's a, that's a standard door symbol that you see uh, used in floor plans all the time. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pan up here to my bathroom and do the same thing. This is a two foot door though. So when I draw that rectangle, again, starting here at this corner of the wall, I'm gonna make it one comma 24 instead of 36, it's a two foot door. Press enter. I'll go back to the arc command, start center end. Start at this corner of the door. Center is, you might have to zoom into it. Center is this where the door touches the wall. And then end is this um, top right corner of the door. So that looks good. Now I do have a couple of options that I can do with this door down here. I've already got a door drawn, so I can redraw another door. If you want practice drawing more rectangles and arcs, by all means, you can draw a new door down there. I'm gonna use the commands that I've got at, um, at hand here. So I am going to do the copy command. I'll select my arc and my rectangle, press enter. And we can select the corner of the door. And this is where it meets the wall. And I will select where the new door is gonna meet the wall, which is gonna be on the right-hand side of the opening, but at the bottom. So I'll click down here. I'm done with the copy command. I don't need any more copies. AutoCAD's being polite and hoping I'm needing more copies. I don't need any more, so I'll press enter. And now I have to get that door rotated though, because it, it flips out, it opens out. So I will come in here and do my rotate command. And I will select my arc and my rectangle for that door. Press enter when I'm done selecting. I'm gonna click on that corner right where it attaches. That's gonna be my base point. So when I rotate, that's gonna be the one part that stays put. The rest of the door is gonna rotate around it. Notice I can, as I move my mouse around, it wants to know what angle. Lots of ways you could do this. You can type in what angle you're gonna rotate this. And so we're actually rotating that at 180 degrees. Or I could just click on this edge of the door. Go right there. Lots of ways you can do it. And that's it. Looking good, I've got my windows, I've got my doors. So the next step is um, we're gonna go into the closet and we're gonna add in rod, uh, some rods and some shelves into our closet.